Hi guys, Shelly Fitzgerald with So Shelly Quilts. I'm here today to bring you another Bernina version 8 software video. Um, the first of several in a series, I hope, um, going over these auto digitized tools in the auto digitized toolbox. They're all grayed out, nothing is available because we don't have a bitmap artwork out on our screen right this moment. So we're going to have to get something out on our screen area. We could click insert artwork here in the toolbox. We could come to the top of the screen and click insert artwork up at the top. We could come over and use the file menu and at the bottom it drops down and we could use insert artwork at that point also. There's always multiple ways to do the same thing. So let's just click on insert artwork. It's going to travel because it knows where I was hanging out before in my picture file to where I want to find the picture I'm using. But you could go through your file structure and pull up anything you wanted. I'm going to pull up my uh, darling little puppy. When I open the picture in embroidery, it comes in vertical. So it is selected, I can tell, because it's got the little squares around it. So I'm just going to click 45, rotate right, rotate right, and now she's setting up. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to try and figure out how to put a link to this actual photo down below for you to use. This is my new two and a half pound puppy sitting on my husband's lap. So I have full rights to let you use this and be happy for you to do it. We're going to do several lessons on this photo just because she's so darn cute is one reason but another is um, it just accidentally turned out that these edges are really perfect there's some nice edges that we can work with with this particular photo so that's another reason that I'm going to use it this is Lucy little Lucy so um, we want to change the size of this photo it was taken with my um, Samsung 10 camera phone the, just the camera on my phone and look a 42 inch photo it's huge so we're gonna definitely need to make that smaller at the beginning uh, our software would maybe complete the task but it would lock up and take forever as far as resources trying to work with a uh, auto digitize on a file that size do you see the, the proportional sizing or scaling is locked and that's good so I'm going to swipe the width and let's make that down to um, oh, like eight inches wide. Push enter. And now I'm going to push the number zero on my keyboard. That's a shortcut to zoom to fit the screen, to fit this selected. You also, if you don't remember those, up here are your zoom tools and I could drop down and to fit or to selected our options. If nothing was selected then it wouldn't be to selected even as an option. But once I select it then there's to selected. But the shortcut is the zero on your keyboard. I want to crop this photo and um, I could do this on Art Canvas or I can do this over here. The crop options that are now in embroidery side of the software are just amazing. So once I selected this, then all of these automatic digitizing tools became um, available. And there's more we'll talk about, but today we're just going to crop the background. And when I click on crop background, there's all these options of how to crop that instantly. Um, so I can just touch and scroll this over her and make a star crop or I could undo and let's make a heart and scroll this over her now I can manage that heart in a minute also I can reshape it so um, that's pretty cool I'm gonna just put a rectangle around her and I'm going to get it off. I cut her tail off accidentally. Not really on purpose. I wanted you to see this. So um, once it has been cropped, I can come in and use the reshape object tool. 
And as soon as I click on that, I see the original photo behind and the cropped photo in front. And so all of a sudden I have all of these tools. There's my square node, my sharp node. I could select that and hit the space bar on the keyboard and it became a curve. I could also, let me um, select that again. Well, it's still selected, it's purple, and make it um, back to a, a square node. I can add nodes, so I can click on the perimeter with a left click or a right click, and I can move the nodes that I've added. This is on the reshape, so you don't have to be that picky with the reshape. Once that node is selected, I can push delete and delete. I can zoom in, it's a lot like lettering, there's a little purple uh, diamond where I can move that reshape square over the surface. So if I cut her tail off, I can always move that a little bit more to where I want it to be. And in fact, I can stretch it. I can stretch it um, proportionately. I can move any of the angles. So I just want you to realize that you can do all sorts of cropping things with this. Um, I'm going to do this. Watch this. I started with the square crop, but I'm going to make this a curve and bring it in by her head. And I'm going to right click and add a curve. And I'm going to right click and add a curve. And I'll click this one and space bar, make it a curve. Let's right click and add another curve up here and bring all this in a little bit. And right click or left click and space bar, change that to a curve. Right click and add a curve. Select a space bar. You see where I'm going with all this? So even though I started with a square crop, I don't have to stick with it. So I could say, yeah, I like that crop and I'm going to hit select and there it is. So there's the little cropped picture. So I want you to see how cool these cropping tools are. And um, I'm gonna go to a new screen Insert artwork, bring little Lucy back in, turn her on her side again, swipe, make it eight inches, zero on the keyboard to zoom in on her, choose the crop again, and just uh, one more time, this time I'm going to choose the heart because it's Valentine's and just show you that we can do all of those same cropping things. Here we've got all the nodes, we've got the resize, we've got the move. So I could resize that and move it until I felt like it was more the size of heart I wanted around little Lucy Lou. And then I would just hit on the sharp and there's my Valentine puppy dog picture. Now what would I do with a picture like that? Well, in the next video we're going to use Photo Snap. In the one after that we're going to use Color Photo Stitch. Um, we'll play with just a lot of these auto digitized tools. So mostly on this I wanted to touch on the crop of the background and get you excited about those crop tools that are in there. So just get a picture or borrow Lucy and use mine and crop away. I'll talk to you again soon. This is Shelly Fitzgerald with So Shelly Quilts. Bye.